Hello and welcome back to our 2021-2022 board recaps. Today we'll, we will be providing a recap for our March board meetings. Our first board meeting in March was held on March 7. We'll start off with our information portion. The board will be looking to begin the process of filling the superintendent vacancy that will occur on June 30th of 2024. There were four executive firms that were in the process and they presented their proposals in order for the board to be informed and make a decision that assists them in choosing the right candidate. Also in information, we had Dr. Terry Collette, our principal of Hopewall, and Elizabeth Hornback, who was our assistant principal at Hopewall, and they presented their school improvement plan. Lots of really great things happening and pictures of students were shared. It's an awesome opportunity. Also in, in information, we had Ana Gonzalez, our Director of Community Affairs, and she presented an update on community events occurring throughout the district. There are several events coming up for the spring, so be sure and keep an eye out. At this meeting, we did not have any discussion items, but we did have some action items. The first item was the board approved recommendations for four different capital improvements, as follows. DCG Roofing Solutions was chosen for the Roofing Improvements Project. MG Mechanical Contracting Incorporated was chosen for the mechanical unit replacement at the district office building. Light Construction was chosen for the doors, windows, and tuck pointing project occurring at multiple locations. Advantage Paving Solutions Incorporated was chosen for the pavement improvement project occurring at multiple locations. Now, as we move into our second board meeting of the month on March 21st, we presented those who make a difference. The school board recognized Mr. Bruce Frazier, our library information specialist at the high school. Mr. Frazier was able to secure a school district library grant in the amount of $9,356.31. I do want to go a little bit farther out than that. Mr. Frazier has been doing this for a long time, and I believe it's over the past 15 years, and he's secured almost $100,000 for our libraries. It's certainly worth noting. Mr. Frazier continues to go above and beyond for all of our students. Then we had a potential action out of executive session. And as a result of conversation that occurred in executive session, the board voted and approved to hire the search firm Hazard, Young, and Atia and Associates to assist in the selection process of a new superintendent. In our information portion, Dr. Whitney Martino, Assistant Principal of Teaching and Learning at West Aurora High School, she presented an updated version of our previous conversation that we had two years ago regarding the Latin honor system to replace our class rank system. This is a decision that has been discussed over the last two years and the board will move forward on making a decision for this. In our discussion portion, Mr. Pat Dacey, our capital projects manager, presented the letter of recommendation and bid tabulation sheet for the upcoming track facilities upgrade project. Two bids were received and recommendation is to award the contract to R.C. Wegman and accept the base bid plus alternate number one for a total contract amount not to exceed $2,021,800. This will be on the agenda for approval at the April 4 board meeting. In our action items portion, in keeping with our typical process this time of year, the board voted on three resolutions authorizing non-reemployment of certain classifications of certified staff, and these will include full-time non-tenured teachers not in the last year of probationary service, grant-funded non-tenured teachers, short-term part-time temporary non-tenured teachers. And that'll do it for our board recaps for the month of March. Hope you have a great spring break and we'll see you in April.